Hey, what's up, guys? So the news broke that uh, Kansas Chiefs have announced a new assistant coach, which is Cedric Kaze, and uh, he worked previously with uh, Nasruddin Navi at Young Africans, and you saw the success that they had there. It was quite interesting because, obviously, before the season started, the assistant coach came in. There was a previous assistant coach that came in, and he went up north. Uh, I think he went to Morocco, and then there were talks about, is it going to be Atos one, is it not? And the kids at Madaun Jr. confirmed that it's not going to be him, and obviously, they were still on the look, and they've made this decision. Someone who's worked with Navi, someone who also has experience within Europe as well. He's got some experience in Europe and I just sat there looking at this appointment thinking like Kansas Chiefs how good does it feel to finally act like a big club like how good does it feel to finally make these moves that you're making because they've brought in a new technical team no doubt about it but guys even with your eyes you can see that this Kansas Chiefs is nowhere near to what it was last season it's nowhere near to what the season it was before that even you can see something has changed. You can see the standards have risen. You can hear even the way that now he's talking in terms of the levels that he wants to bring kids to Chiefs to. And you're just like, kids to Chiefs, why did it take you so long to make these decisions? Like, I know it's probably costly. Like, it's probably costly. But man alive, does it not feel good? That like, snap, you can start to see that something is, is changing. Something is different with the gusto, even the way that they play. The way that the players are believing within themselves. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. And I'm thinking like, this has the the potential to have people believing in the project. This has potential to get people on board. This also has the potential to get people scared of what Kaiser Chiefs can be one day if they keep making these decisions. And I tell you what, Kaiser Chiefs management and everybody above, you keep making decisions like that, it will eventually bear fruit. You guys just got to be patient with it. But seeing them make this, making the sacrifice that they're doing, it's clear that they also would love Kaiser Chiefs to get back to where it once was. And man alive, it, it really feels good to see Kaiser Chiefs make decisions like they're a big football club because they are a big football club. They are the most supported club in the country. One of the most decorated clubs in the country as well. It's great to finally treat it that way, right? And before I do finish, I do want to say happy birthday. Happy belated birthday to Kizam Tawun Senior. A leader, a general, a visionary in terms of what you've created. Uh, that football club. You know, why, how you got people to love it. How you got people the love and peace is absolutely brilliant. And it was so beautiful to see you getting your flowers throughout the day because you absolutely deserve it. And hopefully, my dream, I hope, I pray that you get to see this team successful once more again. But also, I would love for you to do one more thing. Please do subscribe to my channel. That's, if I get a subscription from you, man. I... Man! Man, don't make my ear. But... Happy birthday and kiss the Chiefs. Keep making decisions like a big football club and the fruits will bear.